I'm going to show you how to use the product, Cuba product search export feature with an async gadget today. First thing you're going to want to do is grab your Keepa API key from Keepa.com. So log into your Keepa account, head over to the apps, and then to the Keepa API button. Once that loads, you're going to see your private API access key right here. You're just going to want to copy that. Head over to the settings tab of Async Gadget Pro and paste it in here where you see the Keepa API text box. All right, once you've got that, um, just so you know here, the private API access key can be changed. You can refresh this. Um, if you wanted to share a video with anybody like this on how to do something like this, you can refresh it and then uh, use it as a new key for yourself so it can be used, cannot be used by others. And then currently I have 1,487 tokens available and you can actually get a live token count within ASIN Gadget here. Looks like I've, I've gotten up to 1,500 since I started uh, this video. Let's refresh it. We should see the 1,500 that matches Keepa's API plan. Uh, standard API plans get, or standard Keepa plans get 300 tokens. I have upgraded to the 20 minute per token plan here. It's just 39 euros a month. So it's really affordable if you want to get lots of data. Speaking of data, we're going to head to the data tab here. We're going to head over to Product Finder. And what Product Finder does within Kiba.com is it allows you to go through their database with a fine tooth comb and narrow down the kind of products that you want to uh, view with, uh, with an extremely fine tooth comb. You can get as narrow as you want with your filters here. I'm not going to go through all of these filters. I'm just going to hit on a couple so that I can show you what exactly the ASIN Gadget Pro feature does. So let's find some products with a average 90 day sales rank of 15,000 to 150,000. You can see that brings us to 15, almost 16 million products that meet that criteria. I don't want Amazon to have it right now. So Amazon out of stock. I'll check that. Uh, let's see, what else can we narrow down here? Well, buy box. Let's go with a current buy box of maybe 55 to $95. Looking for a little bit higher price product here. Kind of scare away the competition a little bit. We can add a root category here. So if I wanted to search in electronics only, that brings us to 12,692 products. That's a pretty decent number here, and that's going to really narrow down our findings quite a bit. But let's get a little bit further in with it. We want there to be currently at least three offers. That brings us down to 1,728 products. But I don't want there to be the buy box seller. I want it to be a third party. That didn't change anything for us there. I only want this to be a physical product. And I do want it to be an FBA buy box. So we're down to 860 products here. And I want to open this up a little bit more. So we're going to take out electronics. Let's just see. If we don't have any filters at all for our category, this leaves us with 38,384 products that match our criteria. Now you can click on find products and what that's gonna do, I'll, I'm gonna save the API query here first. So um, we'll, get to, we'll get to the find products in a second. I want to show you the API query. You just want to copy this right there, complete API URL. You're going to put that into the product search export feature here. Just right there. You can select a max ASIN. So this has 38,000 in our results. So we'll go with, it can get about 40,000 ASINs. This isn't going to be 100% accurate because of the way we have to break up this API URL to get this many ASINs. Um, but it does get it narrowed down quite a bit and come pretty close to 40,000 for you. CSV name, we'll just go with uh, test123. Now you do have an option to save this URL. So this URL, URL here, you can save it for future use. 
you're going to put in the API URL again, and then our test one, two, three label. So you're going to see that under my extractions here. If you ever want to go through this later, uh, you can just do a click, a quick one click export uh, to see the updated data. So we've got everything filled in here and we are going to go ahead and export. So what that's doing is it's using the API URL that you got here and extracting up to 40,000 ASINs that match the criteria that you've selected. And it did export already. That took about 55 tokens, which really isn't too bad, um, even for a standard Keepa account that only gets 300 at a time. And the result that we get here is 32,976 ASINs that matched our criteria. And the benefit of having having it done like this is when you go into find products like this, the max you can get in a single view is 5,000. It's going to take a minute to load that 5,000, but I'm going to pause it until that is done. All right, it's finishing up here and it's going to give you all the data points that Keepa offers for those 5,000 products. And you can export all those data points um, into a CSV or all, with all active columns, or you can only select the ASINs, and you can export that into a CSV. But the problem with that is that you're only going to get the 5,000 that you can see. What we've been able to do is break up this API URL into segments to allow us to, to grab more than just those 5,000. Uh, you can select up to 50,000 at the current time. And then again, you do have the My Extraction saved URLs. So if you wanted to come back later in a couple weeks and run the scan again, you don't have to go through and put all your filters in again. You just save it and click Export and it'll, it'll get the updated data for you. So then with those uh, 30, what was it, 32,000 ASINs that you get, you can throw those into a reverse search on Tactical Arbitrage and let TA do all the heavy lifting with reverse searching and sourcing those products for you. Um, that is how you use the store, the Keepa product search export feature within Async Gadget Pro. If you guys have any suggestions or questions about this, be sure to reach out to me here. If you have any ideas for future improvements on this or things that we can add to it to make it better, um, I'm happy to get that developed if possible. And just, uh, yeah, contact me and let me know. Thank you guys so much. Happy hunting.